Welcome back to episode 24 of The Walking Dead. Last time we picked up, um, let's see, was, where are we going? When you go to the nurse's office, derp. Uh, last time we picked up the tapes off of the dead nurse guy, or doctor, whatever you want to call him, and uh, we needed to find out what the combination lock on the door was. And so we used the code on Logan's locker right here. And now we're going to go ahead and discuss what we found. I'll we'll probably just look at the tapes and hopefully we can see what the combination number is. And then we can open it up and get I those meds. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Yeah, giggity. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Can I see the code? 462, I couldn't catch the rest. Oh, shit. No. 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 So that's how it started. He died, and he turned into a zombie. Shit. So but we have two tapes though. More importantly, we got the combination. Uh Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Alright. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. I hope you guys caught the combination, because I sure as hell didn't. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Sweet. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so we've got we're everything. Enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. Yeah. We got the meds for a need. That's all I care about. Nope, I bet we're it has to do with something with Molly. Totally calling it. And by the way, I, I was thinking earlier about those five people I get to take on the boat. I, uh, I definitely think that... Wait, look at tapes. Yeah. Wait, I hope Today, I picked the right one. Since the outbreak, 1547, Dr. Logan and We've already seen this one. Anna Correa. How do I skip ahead? Fuck. Okay, so apparently it wasn't on the desk. I just had to click this thing, so here we go. He just pulled up his zipper. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. What? This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's oh. really cracking down. I so he bangs play. her for, like, we morphine or something. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can. I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Shit. That must have been some angry sex. But at least we know now. Well, shit. Yep, <laughs> yep, well, shit. All right, so let's uh, let's go back down the hallway and leave this place. In before zombies attack us. On the way back to the uh, homeroom. Oh shit, it's a cinematic. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, well. That's okay. Let's, uh... Let's head back. We have everything we need as long as Molly is here. Oh, my God! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Scared me, too. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, 
Yeah, uh, about that. I lost it. Son of a bitch. I'm just kidding. Here you go. <laughs> Do we even know if that battery fits in our car? Or boat? Does a boat battery and a car battery Who's work? There? Nothing. I bet that's her sister. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Croc. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? <laughs> I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Except humanity. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh, well, that sucks. But at least we know. This is all I have left of her. Aww. I didn't have time to take it. <laughs> I don't Crawford. care. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. Pretty. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who rings the bell besides her? Or maybe they found a way to... Oh, Jesus. What is happening right now? Uh... Silent. Oh, oh my Jesus. God. Shit. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells. Where the and then fuck I is Clementine? Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh. My. God. Where did you get that? I, I just found it. Jesus, it Ben! the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh my god. Oh, shit! Ben, you're a fucking moron! You're getting left off the boat. You're out of Survivor. You're off the island. Please shoot this fucker! Shit! Thanks. No problem. It wasn't I me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh shit! Go Lanny Oakley right here. <laughs> I couldn't get a shot off until like I wasn't. What's going on? Yeah. They're coming. I feel like a bitch oh, now. Shit. <laughs> that ought to hold. Uh, Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. God damn it, Come Ben. On, damn you. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. No, what? Shit. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Oh, Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? God it damn it, Ben. The deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... We all saw this coming. Kenny, lay off, Ben! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen. It was all just a mistake. I don't give a fuck, you little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Ugh. Nice group you got here. <laughs> Not the time, Molly. 
If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, <laughs> my he's out of his motherfucking mind. Do you hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Oh, ma'am. <laughs> no! You don't get a vote, Clementine. Yes, you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. <laughs> On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Kenny doesn't care. What He's just gonna. The rest of us? Don't we get a second? No! Now can we go? Fuck that bitch! She shot me. So, I don't care what happens. How is this an armory? Okay. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. <laughs> you didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Nope. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. fuck! <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. This is starting to turn out relatively poor. Lee, look. Yes. Thank you. Come on, cocksuckers. Now let me fire the gun. Uh. Oh shit, I gotta back away. Bitch! Ha ha ha! You can't take me! Where did that girl disappear to? Wow, this shotgun has a lot of rounds. Shit, they're gonna grab my foot. No, no, no! Come on! No! Fuck! And get away from me! Oh, how do you get into my guts so easily? <laughs> uh, oh, that's what I should've, I should've uh, okay. Come in, leg. You, back off, fucker. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, got two of them, now let me go, let me try to get my leg free. Come on, one more time. I'll look back up, shit, shit. Okay, you're dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. Sweet, it's a Nintendo 3. Oh, fuck. How the hell am I gonna get out of here? Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yeah. I'm going all Tomahawk on this bitch, just like Assassin's Creed 3. Fuck you. Yeah. Mwah. Yeah, that looked like a crack addict. Or meth. No! Get off my gun, son! Alright. Wait, where'd my gun go? God damn it! Lee! You're alive, Lee! This is not time for this! Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Oh shit. Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. I bet the oh, railroad's wait, wait, like go, completely go, go. like flooded with zombies. Zombie horde. Yeah, come on, let's go. Who the fuck is ringing the bell? Like Oh. <laughs> uh, can I save him? Oh. oh, fuck. 
I will try to save him. Damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Let him go, Lee. He's not one of us. Do the right thing, Lee. Lee, we both know. Let me go. God damn it. Damn straight I saved your life. Go, go, go. All right. I mean, I'm the good guy here. I mean, Ben, while he made poor decisions, he made the decisions in the best interest of everyone. At least he tried. You know what I'm saying? Krista, everything okay? Oh, Mead. What happened to Mead? Is he dead? I'd be really nice if you bit her now. Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. Because... I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! He'll bite her and then... Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> hey. Back already? What a cocksucker! Medicine. <laughs> Good. Better not have been playing us. I feel like I could use some. Alright, well. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. <laughs> Should have left him behind when we had the chance. I'm sorry, Kenny. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. What the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh... Well, right at least we got away with the. Uh, have a little talk in private. We got away with only having uh, fat bitch die, which is good. I'm not sorry. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. No. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? Nah. That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. Don't even think about it. I know it. you want what's best Nope. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination... Get the fuck out of here, old man! That's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe. Better than being in a city. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? I don't agree safe? at all. I'm going to pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation, but you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. <laughs> Little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Damn straight. Take hands off me. I mean, I know he means well, but there's no way I think that being in the middle of a city in the zombie apocalypse is better than trying to, like, leave the city in any form. We all know cities like the worst place to be outside of, like, a mall. 
or an anime convention. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been Grr. making this decision hard. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right We should now. bang, okay? You were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Luke. Gah. He didn't say goodbye to Hilga. Goodbye, you Hilga. Be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't really got anything to say about this particular part. I mean, I, I agree with everything that's being said. And I just want us to move on from this place. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Graham, honey, what's wrong? Her parents, yo? Okay. Uh oh. He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Uh it's his own fault. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? <sighs> I'd like to, Claire, <clears throat> but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I don't feel like being a dick to her. Oh, jeez. Aww. Now I feel bad. Shit. Well, I mean... It's life. Life sucks. It's hard to tell that to an eight-year-old. But, you know how it is. Are they going to end this here? Maybe. Seems like it. Or not. <sighs> Could have been time. Oh, shit. I hope she didn't go out on her own. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Nobody was probably paying attention. Ben's gl gl uh, gloomy and moping. Kenny's too busy, and uh... Clementine. Clementine! No oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh man. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna stop it off here. If you wanna know what happens to Clementine, you gotta come back. This is Byronic, and that is it.